Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use switch cases in C sharp. As we have seen if statement, switch statement is also a conditional statement. So if any condition is true, the code related to that condition will be executed. So let's see how we can use switch cases. For the starting code, what uh, I'm doing is I'm making uh, this code for the students uh, who got some marks and on the basis of um, marks got by student I want to show some messages so what I'm doing is I'm just printing on the screen please enter the student marks and then what I'm doing is I'm taking the input from the user and I'm converting it to the int value by this int dot pass and I'm saving it into this variable called marks. Now on the basis of user entered marks, I want to show some messages. So let's see how we can use switch, state, switch statement to perform our task. The switch statement starts from the keyword switch and with this bracket. And in this bracket, your condition comes. Now in our case, our condition is marks on the basis of marks we are going to print messages right now after this brackets you need to give these two curly brackets brackets to open and close switch case statement and inside these curly braces we write the cases which can be possible so for example case 90 if student get 90 marks then I want to write on the screen or console dot write and I will print this message on the screen Excellent. Okay. Now, after every switch case, we can use an optional break. So, I'll write break here. So, this break, what this break does is, it, whenever some condition is true, then this code is performed and it breaks out of the switch statement and it goes directly here and it performs the other code which is written after this switch statement okay so in this way I will just copy this switch statement and paste it three more times and if the student gets for example 60 marks I will say very good and if the student gets 30 marks then I can write need improvement okay so if the student will get the 90 marks I will uh, just show this ex excellent message if the student gets 60 marks I will show very good and if the student gets 30 marks I will show need improvement and what this break does is if the condition is true it immediately print this message and it will break the switch cases so break we can use to go out of these switch cases now for example the user has entered some values which is not 90 60 or 30 then for dealing with such cases we use default default and what this default does is it catches all the exception or all the values which are not in these condition which are not provided in these cases okay so this is the default case for us and in the default case, 
I will just write for example I will just copy this paste it here and in the default case I will say please enter valid value okay so in the default case this is the default case and in, in this default case whatever which is not in this case is whatever condition which is not followed in this case or this case or this case or any other case will fall into this default okay so now let's try and run the code and I will enter the students marks for example 90 and press enter it shows me the message excellent right for example I will enter the marks 60 it shows me very good and as in the same way when I will enter 30 it will give me medium improvement but let's see what happens when we enter some value which is not belonging to these cases for example 75 and it says please enter the valid values okay so any value which is not 90 60 or 30 or whatever you enter in this cases uh, will not be followed and it will directly go into this default case and this message will be printed and in here in a similar way you can write some function or you can call some some functions you can perform some calculations some some code you can write so it's not necessary that you should only print the value you can perform some calculation you can do some maths you can call some functions so anything which you would like you can do it inside this switch cases now for example if you don't want to use break it's also okay but what will happen then is it will not break here your program will not break here but wherever it sees or your your switch case sees the first break and whenever the condition is true it will show this message so for example I will just remove this break and this message and this break and this message then what do you think what will happen in this case because we don't have provided the break and when you enter 90 it will directly show this message which is need improvement because it doesn't see break here it doesn't see break here and it will see that first break comes here then it will just show need improvement so this is a small thing which happens in switch statement if it doesn't seize breakpoint it goes to the next case now for example I want to print the same message I can write like this whatever is the marks okay so now I can write marks entered and when I run the program and for example I will enter 90 it says marks entered 90 which is this message right because it jumps to the next case 60 and it sees here is no break it jumps to 30 and it, it sees yes here is a break so I need to print this right so switch case works like this it goes to the next case if the break is not provided so in this way you can use switch cases in C sharp I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now